Hello. So in this video, we'll be seeing about the data production in Isilon. Isilon uses a RAIN concept for data production, redundant array of independent nodes. Basically, the data is rolled across the nodes in Isilon. The data does not get saved on one particular node, whereas it gets saved across the nodes and the they use the parity method for saving the data so here in this example you have blue yellow and green and the green as a parity so when there is a loss of data in between let's say if the Hello goes off, then we will be able to get the data of hello by subtracting the blue from green. And the same way, when this blue goes off, we will be able to get the data from green subtracting the hello. So, whereas the green is a parity, it is addition of both, and using this, we will be able to get the lost data so this is kind of a raid methodology where here in isolon instead of disk it uses nodes there are different kind of data production levels that we'll be seeing and these are the different production level of isolon that are pre-configured so the production level plus 1n so this production level plus 1n means this particular production level can tolerate a failure of one drive or one node so if there is a failure of one drive or one node still the lost data can be taken and this production level is based upon pool that is nothing but the smart pool that we will be seeing in the upcoming lectures so just for information smart pools or combination of nodes so this production level are based upon the smart pools available on each each of the um, clusters so here plus 2d and 1n so this particular production level can tolerate the failure of two drives or one node either or one either it can tolerate up to two drives in that particular pool or it can uh, tolerate one node failure so above that this production level cannot tolerate and will have a loss of data so this production level is based upon the number of nodes that you have in a cluster and it's based upon the criticality of your data. So the default production level in Isilon is 2D plus 1N. And you have 2N, it can tolerate up to two drives or two nodes and 3D 1N, we have 3D 1N and 1D. So this particular production level can tolerate a failure of three drives or it can tolerate a failure of one node and one drive failure. So this is like both it can tolerate of one node and as well as one drive. And the same way we have 3N, it can tolerate three drive failures or three nodes. The same way 4D, 1N, 4D, 2N and 4N. And all we have 2X to 8X mirroring. So we have mirroring production level as well in which the mirroring is from 2X to 8x so depending upon the configuration and so these are the um, different production levels available and we'll see the next lecture 